My guest today is Sophie Turner. She's one of the stars of X-Men Apocalypse. I saw the end of the world. I could feel all this death. Jean, it was just a dream. And of course, Jean Grey is a character that before was played by Famke Jensen. And I understand you reached out to her before you, um, you started filming the part. I reached out to her um, because obviously, like, I admire her work so much from the first three movies, and I thought she did an amazing job. And I just kind of, I was so nervous about stepping into her shoes and stepping onto this set, which had such an established cast. She's controlling the jet. So I emailed her, being like, "Do you have any advice for me? Um, is this okay that I'm like the young version of your character? <laughs> like, are you okay with that?" Um, and she emailed back, and because because I asked her whether you know if she if she had any movies that I should watch or just references, um, and she emailed back saying no, um, as long as you know you know the character, which you do because you you've got the part, um, then you're fine. She just kind of like handed the baton on to me, which was really nice. She said, "Jean is yours now. Run with it." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and so where are you taking Jean? I mean, how is this incarnation of the X-Men and your character going to differ from what we've seen before, do you think? Um, it differs because when you first see her, she's a superhero. Um, and she has total control of her powers and she's, she's, she's a fully formed adult um, and superhero and mutant. Um, and Jean, when you see her in these movies, she's she's vulnerable and she's alienated because she she's so powerful and um, she comes to this school of mutants and she can't control her powers and so they reject her and they don't want to know and she feels like she's too powerful to be around these other students so she just kind of cowers in a corner. You're not students anymore. You're X-Men. And so this gene is is all about coming to terms with the fact that she is so powerful and learning somehow to control them. And also at the same time going through her adolescence, puberty, boys, um, and then just having like mutants slapped on top of it, you know? Doesn't it ever wake you up in the middle of the night? The feeling that someday they'll come for you and your children. I feel a great swirl of pity for the poor soul that comes to my school looking for trouble. And do you plan on making more X-Men movies after Apocalypse? I mean, are you signed to do more? Do you plan and hope on doing more? I, I plan and hope on doing more, but who knows? I might have been really terrible in this last movie <laughs> and they might not want to employ me again. Uh, I'm sure that's not the case. Well, you never know. <laughs> um, I, yeah, that's the plan, I think. Um, so we'll see. I mean, they, they really, because they're not dictated by books or anything, they really have the liberty to do anything. Um, so whether they choose to bring me back or bring in a new superhero, I don't know.